Oni said he's sorry. He's telling the whole Ilefe that he's sorry. That he knows that everybody, they are not happy with him. They are sad that Naomi did not come to uh, Olojo Festival. But right now, he's ready to take the bull by the horn. He's ready to go to Naomi. Anything that wants to happen, let it happen. He's going to grab Naomi by force. As a matter of fact, eh, if he means in carrying Naomi on his head, so that the whole world will know that he loves Naomi, he will do it. He will carry Naomi on his head and trek from uh, Akure to, to, to Ilefe. That is going to do it. He's going to grab Naomi by her shoulder. That is going to do it. That this is not a time to take no for nonsense. That no. He loves Naomi. And if Naomi is the one to bring sanity to the palace, he's going to do it at all costs by every means possible. So um, the elders told him it's not a good decision that he cannot go there alone. They have to go with him and they have to go with elders because Akure people already know the gist. Everybody know the gist of what is happening to Naomi, of what he did to Naomi's uncle yesterday. If you've not watched that video, go please go to my uh, my my this thing. You will see the video. So the Akure people already ready. They are protecting their daughter right now. So they told Naomi, forget that you are the you you are the Ojaja first. You understand? You are the king of Yoruba nation. That lady is also their daughter. They are also going to protect her. So the elders said that if Oni is going to uh, Akure, they are going to go with Oni. Oni said no, that this is a one-on-one -on -one matter. He wants to talk to Naomi one-on-one. -on -one. The elder said that what an elder sees sitting down, a young man like Kabiesi will not see, even if he's standing on 10-story building, because some things are wisdom. Forget that the God chose Oni of Ife, but there are still elders that God gave wisdom. And is that wisdom a konuche? understanding they are using to tell only that the way forward is not the way you are going the way forward is not gara gara the way forward is for us to use wisdom because kbsc says it's not going to because of naomi things will spoil because the last time that some people went to akure to beg naomi they said the, the the young the youth in akure chased them out because they said they should not be doing their daughter anyhow anyhow so the elders are telling kabi and that we are going to come with you because if they see us the elders they will come down a little but if they see you a little they might use aggressiveness they might use oh they might think of all the poverty everything that is happening to them and they want to lay the blames on you and they want to do you anyhow and for the fact that their daughter is not in the palace they will use all the annoyance and everything so kabi and agreed that they should come with them because KBSC is thinking if Naomi sees the convoy, sees everything, uh, Naomi might not like it. But they say that is the only way forward because after Oni of Ife came back from seclusion, he's still a god, as in the god today in head. So if he, if he, if he does anyhow, things my girl spoiled and KBSC does not want to do anyhow. If you know, you know. Like the elders predicted, that say when they got to Akure, yes, so. They were in Akure, Akure, 8 a.m. Wednesday, 2nd October 2024. So that means they left very early. And they said their meeting is not going to take a very, very long time. You understand? <laughs> that as if the, the elders predicted, immediately they go there, they saw the youth. The youth were so furious. They were asking Kabi, say, what do you want? Tell us what you want. Don't, don't go inside. Use your mouth and tell us by the gate. We will answer you. Come and be going. That the elders now have to talk to them because normally KBC is not supposed to come down and be quarreling with them. But you know, people that have been given so much information, they might want to work on the information. So they have to talk to them, they have to beg them, they have to tell them to calm down that whatever KBC came out to do is for the good of the land, is for the good of Yoruba culture, and is for the good of everybody. Let them calm down and allow God to use them. If you know, you know. So my brother, when I saw this, I was like, wow, wow. So Naomi is really, really important to these people. And they are using her to play ten ten. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The fact of the matter is, these people cannot beat KBAC, that is for sure. Spiritually, physically, they cannot beat KBAC. And that is not what they want to do. But what they want to do is that they want to let KBAC know that you don't have a space here anymore. They want to let KBAC know that leave our daughter alone. She has moved on. You seize, you seize her traveling right because Naomi went to the to the uh, Naomi wanted to go and get her Australia passport. And when she got there, they told her that. It is written in her passport that she cannot travel to certain country without KBAC. So the gist is everywhere. Everybody has heard the gist. Let me tell you, when something is in social media, don't feel you are the only one that is privy to the information. Once in social media, everybody has seen it. Everybody has heard it. The news is news. You know what is news already. Mm -hmm. 
So the elders now need to talk to the youth, how uh, Naomi really need to come to, to, to pull the Yoluwa staff, that if not, a lot of people will buy. And when they buy, their, their blood is going to be on Naomi's Uri, uh, to be on Naomi's head. And the, the Naomi is not going to perform any ritual, but just that, that is to let them know that Naomi is ahead of all the women. That that singular art alone shows that Naomi is bigger than all the Oluris in the palace. So they need Naomi to just come and do the needful. It's not something really, really hard. That that is the reason why they came. They did not come because of any other thing. They are here because that is what the gods instructed. And if they love their daughter the way they claim, they will have to follow their daughter and, and just... That they don't mind if all of them want to come with Naomi. Let them see for themselves firsthand that uh, Naomi is the one. Naomi is the chosen one. Naomi is the one that the gods have chosen. But me, I'm not like, you know that Naomi is the chosen one. You know that Naomi is this youthful, but you are still doing her anyway. You see this life, eh? Now, Kabi is know the importance of Naomi. Now that they need Naomi, they are all coming over to beg. But when he was announcing that he's going to marry so many wives, why did they tell him? Why didn't they tell him off the mic, off the mic? Or why didn't they off the mic from the DJ place? Oh, she badass. Then uh, Kabiesi said, in, uh, if, there's some if there's something he knows about Naomi, it's a soft heart. That Naomi will never allow doom to, uh, to happen to Ilefe. Naomi will not tolerate it. As a matter of fact, Naomi is somebody that even wants the good of Ilefe more than him. So, on KBSC was actually telling the elders that the way they are here arguing with Naomi, because they didn't even end up seeing Naomi, but they saw Naomi's family, they saw Naomi's mom, saw one of Naomi's cousins, saw Naomi's siblings, and they said they are going to pass the message to Naomi. And the, but the youth were like, they will not enter the house, they will not enter, they will not enter, because they know Naomi is in the house. And Naomi might want to come out because, out of respect and all that. But KBSC assured the elders that went with him that, he knows that the message is going to get to Naomi. And if it is the Naomi he knows, Naomi will never do bad thing to the people of Ilefe. Naomi loves Ilefe people more than herself. When I tell you people that KBSC used to do emotional blackmail, you people will think I'm lying. KBSC used everything in his power, used everything in his capacity to see that he dragged Naomi. KBSC knows Naomi so much. I just felt sad that it's Naomi that does not really know KBAC that much and KBAC is using this at his advantage. Why Naomi was in the palace, she was busy doing Lovina, Lovi Lovi with KBAC, but it's like KBAC was busy doing other things. If you know, you know. Yes, yeah, so my correct, correct people. So Naomi's uh, siblings have assured KBAC that uh, they will pass the message to Naomi. And Naomi is very own, is very, very positive that the Naomi he knows that she will come and do the needful. Let's also hope so. But if I were Naomi, I will not go. It's not when they need me, they always come and beg me. I should be useful all the time. You understand? So my people, you guys should do, the, do well to subscribe, like, comment. Put your comment in the comment section below. See you guys later. Peace out.